in three, two, one, go. Three cones carried by Blue Alliance Robots, all of them making their mark up on that top row. And very quickly, Night Vision back into those cubes that they have been placed in midfield on the carpet. Looking at the Blue Alliance, we're going to have a docked and engaged charge station from Hammerheads coming out of Autonomous. Hilltopper Robotics appear to be docked but not engaged for the Red Alliance. We don't see any scoring indication on that battery symbol up on the screen. So it looks like coming out of Autonomous, we have a Blue Alliance lead, 43 to 35. Now that dock is up on that screen, so that was 10 points for the Red Alliance coming out of Autonomous on the charge station, 12 for the Blue Alliance, thanks to it being level. Hammerheads rocking back on their wheels as they race into their community. They're going to drop off a fourth cube on the playing field floor. It looks like they've already got two links established for the Blue Alliance, and another one is in progress. Night Vision working on the top row of the co-op grid. Co-op grid is active for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance still has not put their third game piece in the co-op grid. Hilltoppers, they have a cone. They're going to place that on an outer grid. Their partner, though, the Hedgehogs, adds a link in the middle of that grid. That means that that co-op bonus is active on both sides of the field. Only five links required for the sustainability bonus here in this match. Another link gets added up to the board on behalf of Night Vision for the Blue Alliance. The top row completely filled for Blue. That's three links across the top. They've got two so far on the bottom and in the mid. It looks like an additional link now scored by Hammerheads as they cross over that charge station. Red Alliance side of the field completely empty at the moment. Hilltoppers is back first. All three of those red robots were in the loading zone, receiving game pieces from human players out of the substation through the portal. Hilltoppers unfortunately drop their cone on the ground, but they're going to make the best out of that situation, nudging it across the line into their grid, trying to pick up two points on the floor, even though they can no longer manipulate that cone. 20 seconds remain in the match. Big Blue Alliance lead 133 to 106. Seven links active for the Blue Alliance. Only four for the Red Alliance, but all three robots docked and engaged. They're going to make sure they get that ranking point. Blue Alliance is going to do the same. 30 points on both sides of the field. Final results are here. The winner is the Blue Alliance. 178 to 138. All four ranking points for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance did make sure to get that charge station bonus at the end, so they will also earn a ranking point from that match.